this day the Blessed Virgin. With the angels we exalt and sing God's praises and celebrate. Even in their tombs the dead rejoice as creation sings. May God bless us as we honor you, O Mary. And upon us may he pour abundant mercy. Alleluia, we ask for your prayers. Beitoch alohoilet, wachtoch bimdino sardet, Melkush Mayono has only hold Melkush Mayono has only Good morning. This weekend we celebrate the fifth Sunday of Resurrection, and it's also Mother's Day. So all of the mothers of our parish, both living and deceased, we remember them in our prayers this morning. And also today is the anniversary of Deacon Brian as deacon and Subdeacon Adib. It's his anniversary as well. And it's Monsignor Joe Cato's birthday. So we have those three celebrations. And our liturgy is also offered for all, not only just the mothers, but also for Joseph and Zachary Azar requested by their family as well. Let us pray. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Jesus Christ, our Lord, the Son of Justice, you dawn from the Father before all ages and from Mary at the appointed time. Make us worthy to celebrate this day in honor of your pure Mother with spiritual hymns and to glorify you, your Father and your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. As-salamu al-bi'a wal-ibaniha. Al-Majdu lillahi fi al-ali wa praise to the exalted one who humbled himself and exalted the humble virgin to God who became man and saved humanity to the most high who lowered himself and raised the lowly to the good one be glory and honor on this day and all the days of our lives now and forever Amen. As we honor 
Mother, the blessed ever Virgin Mary, Mother of God, we ask that she intercede for us with her son, the fruit of her womb, and we pray. O Lord, through the prayers of your mother, keep away from the earth and its people the devastation of wrath and all dangers, dissension, war, famine, and epidemics. Have compassion on us, heal the sick, help the poor, save the oppressed, grant rest to the faithful departed, who have left us and have gone to you, and make us worthy of a safe and peaceful death, that we may raise glory to you, to your Father and to your Holy Spirit forever. Amen. of your holiness has filled the whole universe. Pray for us that we may become the sweet fragrance of Christ that spreads throughout the world. We offer this incense for the living that they remain strong in faith, for the dead that they be granted salvation. And may we enjoy eternal happiness and praise the most holy trinity forever. Kadishat Eloho, Kadishat Hail Tolo, Kadishat Lomoyuto.
Lord, O Lord, sanctify our minds and purify our consciences, that we may praise you with purity and listen to your holy scriptures. To you be glory forever. Blessed are you, Virgin Mary, Mother of our Lord and God, Christ who came from the Father, dawned from you in purity. Lord our God, you accepted what the just had offered you. Now accept in your mercy our pure sacrifice and prayers. فصل من رسالة القديس بولس الرسول إلى أهل أفسس وبارك يا سيد. المجد السيد البولس والرسول may the mercy of God descend upon you, Tony. And Andrew, the readers, the listeners, this parish, and her children, now and forever. Amen. Ya ikhwati, lakad kuntum amwatan bizalatikum wa khatayakum, allati salaktum fiha min qabl bihaspi ilhi haza al-alam, bihaspi raisi sultan al-jaw, ay al-ruh al-lazi ya'mal al-an fi abna' al-usyan, wa minhum nahnu aydan jami'an, قد سلكنا من قبل في شهوات إنساننا الجسدي عاملين برغباته وأفكاره وكنا بالطبيعة أولاد الغضب كالباقين ولكن الله وهو الغني برحمته فلكسرة محبته التي أحبنا بها وقد كنا نحن أيضا أمواتا بزلاتنا أحيانا مع المسيح وبالنعمة أنتم مخلصون مخلصون ومعه أقام وأجلسنا في السماوات في المسيح يسوع ليظهر في الأجيال الآتية غنى نعمته الفائقة بلطفه لنا في المسيح يسوع فبالنعمة أنتم مخلصون بواسطة الإيمان وهذا ليس منكم إنه عطية الله ولا هو من الأعمال لئلا يفتخر أحد لأننا نحن صنعه فقد خلقنا في المسيح يسوع للأعمال الصالحة التي سبق الله فأعدها لكي نسلك فيها والتسبيح لله دائما A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians Brothers and sisters, you were dead in, the, in your transgressions and sins in which you once lived following the age of this world following the ruler of the power of the air the spirit that is now at work in the disobedient all of us once lived among them in the desires of our flesh, following the wishes of the flesh and the impulses, and we were by nature children of wrath like the rest. But God, who is rich in mercy, because of the great love he had for us, even when we were dead in our transgressions, brought us to life with Christ. By grace you have been saved, raised us up with him, and seated us with him in the heavens of Christ Jesus, in Christ Jesus that in the ages to come he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace and his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. For by which you have been saved through faith, and this is not from you, it is the gift of God, it is not from works, so no one may boast. For we are his handiwork, created in Christ Jesus for the good works, that God has prepared in advance that we should live in them. Praise be to God always. Full of grace, the Lord is with. 
with you. Blessed are you among women. Hallelujah. Before the proclamation of the gospel of our Savior, Announcing life for our souls, we offer this incense and ask for your mercy, O Lord. Peace be with you and with your spirit. From the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. John, who proclaimed life to the world, let us listen to the proclamation of life and salvation for our souls. Remain silent, O listeners, for the Holy Gospel is about to be proclaimed to you. Listen and give glory and thanks to the word of the living God. Kala Yohanna Rasul. بعد الغداء قال يسوع لسمعان بطرس يا سمعان ابن يونا أتحبني أكثر مما يحبني هؤلاء قال له نعم يا رب أنت تعلم أني أحبك قال له يسوع ارعى حملاني قال له مرة ثانية يا سمعان ابن يونا أتحبني قال له نعم يا رب أنت تعلم أني أحبك قال له يسوع ارعى نعاجي قال له مرة ثالثة يا سمعان ابن يونا أتحبني فحزن بطرس لأن يسوع قال له ثلاث مرات أتحبني فقال له يا رب أنت تعلم كل شيء وأنت تعرف أني أحبك قال له يسوع ارعى خرافي الحق الحق أقول لك حين كنت شابا كنت تشد حزامك بيديك وتسير إلى حيث تريد ولكن حين تشيخ ستبسط يديك وآخر يشد لك حزامك ويذهب بك إلى حيث لا تريد قال يسوع ذلك مشيرا إلى الميتة التي سيمجد بها بطرس الله ثم قال له اتبعني Father, and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Apostle John writes, When they had finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Feed my lambs. He then said to him a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? And he said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him a third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was distressed that he had said to him a third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. And Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Amen, amen, I say to you, when you were younger, you used to dress yourself and go where you wanted. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will dress you and lead you where you do not want to go. He said this in signifying by what kind of death he would glorify God. And when he had said this, he said to him, follow me. This is the truth, peace be with you. Praise and blessings to Jesus Christ, our Lord and God, for giving us in his word. Again, 
again, as I mentioned at the beginning, today is the fifth Sunday of the resurrection, but we also celebrate here in the United States and other parts of the world as well, Mother's Day. And so to all of the women of our community, mothers, grandmothers, aunts, sisters, what, whoever they may be, to all of them we extend our best wishes for you this day and each and every day. Also a year ago today, Deacon, <coughs> excuse me, Deacon Adib, who came to us again this week, so we're glad to have him as he's preparing. And I know his family is watching in Lebanon. Be assured that we're taking good care of him. So um, he'll have a beautiful ordination. And our prayers for Lebanon as well. Um, it's his anniversary of his subdiaconate, and then uh, three years ago, Deacon Brian was ordained this day as a deacon for the church as well, and it's Monsignor Joe's birthday. So, Monsignor Joe, I don't know if you're watching us. If you are, happy birthday. If not, we'll sing happy birthday to you later as well. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. My dear people, today the Gospel of St. John is a gospel for vocation. It is actually the same gospel that the bishop will proclaim the day of Adib's ordination to priesthood. But when I say vocation, when we think of vocation, we automatically think of the ordained minister. But I think it goes beyond just the ordained minister, not just subdeacons, deacons, and priests, and bishops. But rather, we who are called in our vocation to live the fullest, the gospel of Jesus Christ. Jesus is with the disciples. Now we can just imagine what this scene was like. Here they are, the Sea of Tiberias, Genazareth, it's all the same. Um, they're on a boat, and some scholars say there's two ways of looking at the gospel. First of all, Jesus may have been looking around and saying, look at the boat, do you love me more than these? Meaning his career, where he was making his money as a fisherman, the nets, the catch of fish, everything that was around him. But most people, and I believe this as well, most scholars believe that it was Jesus was looking at the disciples and Peter. And he was saying to Peter, Peter, do you love me? And he says to him three times, do you love me? And each time Peter says, yes, I love you. Why three? You see, it was Peter who denied him three times, who denied that he knew the Lord three times. And now, to see if he truly loved him, before he ascends back to the Father, he wants to make sure that Peter's love, his yes, his fiat, is exactly that, sincere. A sincere, unconditional love. Do you love me? Yes, Lord, you know I love you. And so, Jesus goes on to say to him, when you were young, you did as you wished. You know my favorite saying in Arabic, Hi Allah, just take it as it is. We are fancy free, footloose, as to use some American English cliches that we do things the way we want to do them. He says, ah, but they're going to take you away and they're going to stretch your arms out. Jesus is telling him that you are also going to die because of me and because of the faith of what you are entrusted with. This gospel for me going back to what I first start, how I first started, talks to me about vocation, on how our vocation, whether it be as a religious 
or as a parent. We are called to do what? Love, love unconditionally. And then to sacrifice as well. That's why I think this gospel is most appropriate for both mothers today on Mother's Day and also for fathers. Because it shows your vocation as a parent, what, you're, what is expected of you, how out of love you care for your children, you give them the best that you can, but also in giving of love, you sacrifice. And that sacrificial love is not always easy. I remember when I was a young priest many years ago, we won't say how many years, there was a young couple that had a baby. And the baby died from Sid's sudden infant death. To see that mother mourn her child, to see how that mother loved that baby. The baby was about seven months old, maybe, something like that. And the father as well. Now they had one older child, and they had a few older, uh, younger children up after, after the death, obviously, of this child. And that unconditional love continued and continued and continued throughout the years of the growth of those children. I saw the sacrifice. And how many parents we see who sacrifice for their children to make sure that they go to the best of colleges and whatnot, get their educations. Make sure that there's food on the table. Make sure that their health and well-being is taken care of out of love, but also out of sacrifice. Parents who work sometimes two and three jobs just to keep the family together and strong. Today the gospel then speaks to all of us. We do this out of love, the love that God has for us, that he sent us his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, to be like us in all things but sin in order to bring us into new life. Peter gave that ultimate yes to Jesus. You mothers and grandmothers and aunts and godmothers, you give the ultimate yes as well to the children entrusted to you. We honor you. We respect you. And most importantly, we pray for your benefit as well so that God through the, his prayers and through the prayers of our Blessed Virgin and of all the saints, that they intercede for you to keep you strong, firm, holy people of God with those who are entrusted to all of us. Sincerely, a most blessed and happy Mother's Day to all of you. May our Blessed Mother always be not only your intercessor, but your model. You're a model of true womanhood and as a true Christian, living the gospel to its fullest. And may Almighty God bless and protect all of us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God to whom is due glory now and forever. Amen. I ask you now, let us profess our faith together. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, 
consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and we look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. It will vote, made a paid the law, how well vote, a law, how them had a tell yot. When up so hot a boat, oh, here all little bait of West Hood, the Bahai Lord. Good job. There took more your dabber in what said he could do. Lord and God, you accepted the offerings of our ancestors. Now accept these offerings that your children have brought to you out of their love for you and for your holy name. Shower your spiritual blessings upon them, and in place of their earthly gifts, grant them life and your kingdom. Amen. As we remember our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, his plan of salvation for us, we recall upon this offering all those who have pleased God from Adam to this day especially Mary, the blessed mother of God, Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, Saint Marin, Saint Anthony of the desert, Saint Sherbel, and all the saints. Remember, O oh God, the children of the Holy Church, our fathers, mothers, brothers, and sisters, the living and the departed, 
especially those for whom this sacrifice is offered, for all of the mothers of our community living and deceased, and also for Joe and Zachary Azar. Remember also all those who share with us today in this offering. of the 12 apostles for those of you who have books at home page 754 754 glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit now and forever amen merciful holy lord and father your only begotten son you have prepared this spiritual banquet for us accept the offering this bloodless sacrifice and grant us the gift of your holy spirit Make us worthy to give one another the greeting of peace with pure hearts and divine love, that we may raise glory and thanks to your only Son and to your Holy Spirit now and forever. Amen. Peace to you, holy altar of God. Peace to the holy mysteries placed upon you. Peace to you, deacons of the church. Peace to you, my brothers and sisters. Let us give the greeting of peace to our neighbor with love and faith that are pleasing to God. Peace, love, and faith, O oh brothers and sisters, from God the Father and our Lord Jesus, and may the peace of God be among us now and forever. Amen. O Lord, may your peace and security, your true love and divine mercy be with us and among us all the days of our lives. that we may raise glory and thanks to you now and forever. Amen. O Lord, we bow before you and ask you to look upon us with mercy. Make us worthy to approach your holy altar with pure hearts, holy souls, and bodies, that we may raise glory and thanks to you now and forever. Amen. The love of God the Father, the grace of the only begotten Son, and the communion and indwelling of the Holy Spirit be with you, my brothers and sisters, forever. And with your spirit, let us lift up our thoughts, our minds, and our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let 
us give thanks to the Lord with reverence and worship him with humility. It is right and just. Truly it is right and just to glorify and praise you, O God the Father, for you are holy and the giver of life. You are blessed with your only begotten Son and your living Holy Spirit. You are surrounded by the cherubim and seraphim who sing with your voices in heavenly melodies. They cry out, glorify, and proclaim. Holy, 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 mighty Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your great glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who has come and will come in the name of the Lord. Holy, holy, holy are you, God, the Father, full of mercy. Holy is your only Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Holy is your life-giving Spirit. You are holy, the giver of all that is good. For our salvation, your only begotten Son became flesh of the pure Virgin Mary, by his divine plan, saved and redeemed us. سبا <laughs> Whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do so in memory of me until I come again. We remember your death, O Lord. We profess your resurrection. We await your second coming. We implore your mercy and compassion. We ask for the forgiveness of sins. May your mercy rest upon us. O oh Lord, lover of all people, we remember your plan of salvation. We ask you to have mercy on your worshipers and to save your inheritance. 
when you appear at the end of time. To reward all people justly according to their deeds. For this your church implores you, and through you and with you, implores your Father, saying, Have mercy on us, Almighty Father, have mercy on us. O Lord, as we, your sinful children, receive your graces, we thank you for them and because of them. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we profess our faith in you, and we ask you, have compassion on us, O God, have mercy on us, and hear us. How awesome is this moment, my beloved, for the living Holy Spirit descends and rests upon this offering for our sanctification. Let us stand with reverence as we pray. Anin morio, anin morio, anin morio. Unite marrohog hayo kadisho. Wenagin alain. That by his descent he may make this bread the body of Christ our God. Amen. And the mixture in this chalice, the blood of Christ our God. Amen. May these holy mysteries be for the forgiveness of sins, the healing of souls and bodies, and the strengthening of consciences, so that none of your faithful may perish. Rather, make us worthy to live by your Spirit and lead a pure life. And we raise glory to you, now and forever. Amen. We offer you, O Lord, this divine sacrifice for your church, especially for our fathers and shepherds, Francis, the Pope of Rome, Bishara, Peter, our patriarch of Antioch, Gregory, our bishop, and all the bishops of the true faith with blameless lives, with purity and holiness. May they guide your church and present you a faithful people who honor your name. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. Remember, O Lord, your people here before you, especially those who have presented these offerings forgive them, so that they may always live blameless lives in your presence, and recognize the blessings that you bestow upon them, for you are good and rich in graces, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. Remember, O Lord, civil leaders throughout the world, that they may stand for justice and establish peace. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. Remember, O Lord, all those who have pleased you from the beginning, especially Mary, the Holy Mother of God, and the prophets, apostles, martyrs, and confessors, John the Baptist, Stephen the Archdeacon, St. Anthony of the Desert, St. Joseph, and St. Cherubim, assist us through their prayers, and make us worthy to rejoice with them in your kingdom. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. Uzkur ya Rabbi al-Aba' wal mu'allimin al-mustakimir الذين احتملوا الشدائد من اجل بيعتك وشعبك 
وهب لنا أن نقتفي أثارهم بصدق وأمانة We pray to you, O Lord Lord, have mercy Remember, O Lord, the faithful departed who have left us and have gone to the rest hoping in you awaiting that life-giving voice calling them to life Accept the offerings we present you on their behalf. Have mercy on them in your kingdom. Though our Lord Jesus was without sin, we hope to find mercy and forgiveness for our sins and for theirs. Grant to rest, O God, to the departed, and forgive the sins we have committed with or without full knowledge. Grant us pardon, O God, and forgive us and the departed, so that your blessed name may be glorified in us and in all things. With the name of our Lord Jesus Christ in your living Holy Spirit, now and forever. As it was, is now and shall be forever. Amen. We have believed, we have approached, now we celebrate this oblation of the bread of the body of the world. Jesus. a pure sacrifice to God our Father. Jesus, bearer of our sins, you offer yourself the high priest of God save us from our sins. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, you offer yourself the Savior of all. Jesus, Redeemer are the pleasing oblation who offered yourself for us. You are the forgiving sacrifice who offered yourself. You are the high priest who offered yourself as the Lamb. Through your mercy, may our prayer rise like incense, which we offer to your Father through you. To you be glory. Compassionate Lord, may we, your lowly servants, be made worthy to pray with purity and holiness and to call upon you, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. <coughs> and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Yes, O Lord, lover of all people, deliver us from the evil one and from his deceitful ways. Do not forsake us, lest temptation overcome us. Yours is the kingdom with your only Son and your Holy Spirit now and forever. Amen. Peace be with you and with your spirit. before his forgiving altar and before the body and blood of our Savior who gives life to those who partake of him and receive their blessing from the Lord. O Lord, bless your faithful people who bow before you, 
Deliver us from all harm, make us worthy to share in these divine mysteries with purity and holiness, that through them we may be forgiven and made holy. We raise glory to you now and forever. grace of the most holy trinity eternal and consubstantial be with you my brothers and sisters forever and with your spirit let each one of us look to god with reverence and humility and ask him for mercy and compassion Holy gifts for the holy, with perfection, purity, and sanctity. One Holy Father, one Holy Son, one Holy Spirit, blessed be the name of the Lord. For he is one in heaven and on earth. To him be glory forever. Make us worthy, O Lord God, so that our bodies may be sanctified by your holy body and our souls purified by your forgiving blood. May our communion be for the forgiveness of our sins and for new life. O oh Lord, our God, to you be glory. The hosts of angels have come to stand with us at the holy
This week, a, a Deacon Adib, soon to be Abuna Adib, will be on retreat all this week. Um, I ask that you pray for him and pray for his retreat master, me. I need the prayers as well. I hope I prepare him properly for priesthood and help in that formation. Um, from now until next, from tomorrow, until next Sunday, he will be in retreat. Um, next week, he will be the uh, preacher. He will give the homily, Loaza, next Sunday here at the church. Um, this week, I will be calling a uh, finance committee meeting by Zoom here in regard to the work on the parking lot and whatnot. Um, even though the we have been socially distanced and things have been quiet. We have been working very diligently around the church, cleaning and doing and preparing. And also for the future, we're looking at all of the possibilities of all the projects that we have been talking about for the last two years. So most probably Tuesday evening. So my finance committee, if you're out there listening, uh, Tuesday evening at, um, let's say 6.30 in the evening, um, we will have, and we will start opening, we will open the bids that have come in. On Monday, May 18th, we are going to have live streamed the service of May Crowning here in the church. The officers of the Blessed Mother's Guild will come here. We will have the recitation of the Holy Rosary We'll have adoration of the Blessed Sacrament. We will have some other prayers to the Blessed Mother. And Father Chris Peschel, uh, the pastor of Our Lady of Grace Church in Westport, is going to be the homilist. He's going to come and speak on the miraculous medal. That was the theme we asked him to speak on. And so we are going to keep this tradition. We can't... Um, not have the crowning as we normally do. We encourage everyone, men and women, not just the ladies of the parish, families, to please live stream. It'll be on Facebook that evening. And I ask that all the families please participate um, in the Holy Rosary and also in adoration of the Blessed Sacrament. We will begin at 6.30 and we will close by eight o'clock in the evening with adoration. Until then, keep strong, keep safe. Um, know that we here, we are here for you and we love you and everything that we do is for you. So please, please, please know of our love and our concern. We thank you, Lord God and Father. We ask that this divine communion be for the forgiveness of sins, the glory of your holy name, that of your only Son and of your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. I forgot one thing. Father Adib is the Arus and the Aris. He's both. And so, anybody knowing why he should not become a priest, Allah Sa'adkun, you better not have any reasons. If you know any reason why, then you have to make it known. But I'm sure we're not going to have any. But this is part of church law, canon law, that we have to announce the bands of ordination. I can't, my feet now. No, really. Do I have to say it?
إذا بتحسوا إنه مني أهل الكهنوت، إذا حدا عنده أي اعتراض من هلا لأسبوعين بليز قول فازر جيم. أجمروت. Peace be with you. Lord Jesus, our God and Savior, you became flesh for our sake. By sacrificing yourself, you saved us. Deliver us from damnation, make us temples of your holy name. We are your people and your inheritance. We glorify and honor you, your Father and your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Go in peace, my beloved brothers and sisters, with the nourishment and blessings that you have received from the forgiving altar of the Lord. May the blessing of the Most Holy Trinity accompany you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, one God to whom be glory forever. Amen. Give you in peace, the holy altar of God, and I hope to return to in peace, many offerings. Have a blessed week, everyone. Mother of God, Mother of life, come to our help and pray for us that we may follow Jesus our Savior, Mother of God, oh Mother Mother of God, oh Mother of